Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said great. If you can't tell or couldn't tell, we are in Springfield, Massachusetts at the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. Days with Jordan the Lion. It begins right now. This should be awesome. I have been a basketball fan since I was a kid watching Michael Jordan. Can't wait to see what they have inside. And actually last weekend was enshrined weekend. I was watching it on TV. Dirk Nowitzki and Wayne Wade, all those people, Tony Parker. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Here they have a statue of Dr. James Naismith, the man who created the rules in the game. Look at all these seats. They're all Hall of Famers. Calling him the first coach. Yeah, that definitely would be the case. He was definitely the first coach. Coach Dean Smith, North Carolina legend. Roy Williams. And I believe Jim Valvano also got in this past weekend. There aren't even words to describe how excited I am to be here today. As a kid born in 81, watching WGN, I loved basketball because of this man right here, Michael Jordan. And actually, I only wear Air Jordan 1 shoes. Pretty much always. And that's what these are. He changed the shoe game. He has some signed shoes right there. Game-worn jersey, game-worn shoes, ball. How cool. Six-time NBA Finals. These belong to Reggie Miller. Oh wow, Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete Maravich. Maybe the greatest ball handler of all time. They even have his socks. And I was also a big Grant Hill fan when he was on Duke. And they have one of his Duke basketballs here. One of his awards from Duke. And his signature Fila shoes that he wore on the court. The logo, Jerry West, that's Jerry West jersey, and one of the game balls. One of his shoes. This is really cool. This is Wilt Chamberlain's Harlem Globetrotter stuff. 25,000 point ball right there from 1968, his Harlem Globetrotter jersey. And then this is when he scored his 20,000 points 20,881st point and there's a statue of him getting to 100 this is all Scotty Pippen stuff with a ball up there signed by him some of his shoes his jersey and the 1994 NBA all-star game MVP basketball Kareem's game-worn jersey and shoe, and his player of the 20th century award. This is great, this is Larry Bird. This basketball right down here that's painted is from him scoring his 20,000th point. And there's his game-worn shoes, the Converse <laughs> game-worn jersey. We haven't even entered the museum yet. This is really cool. This is Oscar Robertson stuff. Cincinnati Royals. Wow, talk about greatness. All this stuff is out front before we even go in. They even have like a basketball court you can play basketball in there. Let's go check out the inside. So part of the experience here is they have basketballs with handprints and you can measure up your hand against some of the greats like Anthony Davis, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. Let's do Kevin Durant. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Then you can check your height by some of the greats like Muggsy, who's like the smallest, 5'3". And then here are some of the women players. Which I don't know anything about the WNBA, so I'm not going to put much of that on here. Can't talk about what I don't know about the Greek freak. I'm a big fan of him. He's 7'3". Check that out. My grandpa's probably loving this. These are LeBron's. That's his jersey from when he was in high school. 
because he was one of the, if not the last class, I think that you could go directly from high school into the NBA. And these sneakers were 2003 Rookie of the Year Amari Stoudemire's. These are shoes worn by Trace McGrady. He dedicated the game to his friend Eric Lamar Anderson, who was tragically killed in 2003. It says, although you're gone, you're still here, Lil Lee. And these say, at the age of 17, Kobe Bryant was drafted by the Charlotte Hornets, but then soon traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Bryant was the first guard to go from high school straight to the NBA. The Black Mamba won five NBA championships with the Lakers. Yeah, I think that his, I think he and his family kind of forced that trade. These are the Joker shoes. Serbia's Nikola Jokic recorded the fastest triple double in NBA history on February 15, 2018, wearing these Nike Hyperdunks. It took Jokic only 15 minutes, no, 14 minutes and 33 seconds. Holy cow, that's awesome. And then this is the shooting jersey worn by Dirk Nowitzki during the game where he recorded his 30,000th career point. That's Vince Carter's Carolina jersey, which is really cool to see. Blake Griffin scored 50 points for the Pistons wearing this against the Flyers. I'm a big Blake Griffin fan, so that's really cool. And they also have his shoe from that game. His jersey was worn by Sean Kemp. They painted this ball because this was the game ball from the 20,000 career points of Dominique Wilkins. And that was his jersey. And then right next to it, Julia Serving's jersey. And Dr. J shoes. And there's the Air Jordan. This is Nike introduced Michael Jordan's signature Air Jordan line in 1985, sparking a cultural marketing revolution your basketball apparel. Yeah, if you didn't see, they made a movie about this and one of the big deals was that Michael didn't want to go with Nike. Nobody wanted Nike. They all kind of wanted to be with Converse or Puma or Adidas mainly, um, but they didn't want Nike. And so Nike's idea was, hey, instead of just offering this guy whatever popular shoe that we have and having him wear the same shoe every other basketball player, why don't we design a shoe around his personality? And one of the big problems was that uh, NBA had a rule that most of the shoe had to be white and this one was mostly red. So Nike said, if he'll wear these shoes and if he likes these, we'll pay the fine for every game that he is fine for wearing these. And Michael signed with Nike, thanks to his mom. Dennis Rodman's hat and sunglasses. <laughs> that he wore for the, uh, looks like his 2011 Hall of Fame ceremony. And this is Clyde Frazier's jacket and tie. This basketball is signed by the 1982 National NCAA National University of North Carolina Tar Heels. You can see Michael Jordan signed it right there. And then this jersey was Christian Leitner's jersey. I remember that game. The Elite Eight set the Duke Blue Devils on the path to the program's second national championship this game. There's Dennis Rodman's Defensive Player of the Year Award. Dwight Howard's shoe, which is huge. Gary Payton's shoe. And then Akeem Olajuwon signed this basketball for his 2000th block. And then maybe one of the greatest, if not, you know, top five, Bill Russell, his jersey. So all the way around, they have like this little exhibit and it continues on with how tall other people are. Shaq's down there towards the end. They also have, um, like I mentioned, when you, you basically start at the top of the basketball and work your way down and when you get to the very ground level, that's where you can shoot some hoops. I think we all know who that is. Shaq, 7-1. Ben Simmons. Shaq, just one of the most beloved guys in basketball. Yao Ming, 7-6. Woo! I have way too much stuff for me to ever be able to show everything, but I'm going to show the coolest stuff to me. This says the original Dr. J. This was James, Dr. James Naismith. Distinction in several fields, including philosophy, theology, and physical education. Graduated with a degree the game's inventor received in the YMCA training school. <laughs> he earned his doctor of medicine from Gross College at the University of Denver. This was his McGill University robe. 
And then that is an early basketball autograph by James Naismith, man who created basketball. And then the early days, 1893, there was women's basketball. And they used this basket and that was their uniform. Here we have a 1967 All-Star Game jersey worn by Wilt Chamberlain. And this was the original 24 second shot clock used for the first time in a game on October 30th, 1954. Yeah, imagine that, all the different rules they had to adjust and come up with. And then this jacket's really cool. This is a Celtics jacket work by Peter Berenson after popular singer Kate Smith began sponsoring the team in 1935. If you know who Kate Smith was, she was kind of a big deal in her day. And you can see it's Kate Smith Celtics. <laughs> I love it. I never knew about that, actually. And then right above it's the original Celtics jersey. It was wool. It's a Minneapolis Lakers jersey owned by George Mikan. And then this Gears jersey was also George Mikan's. He was a huge deal in his day. He was like the first basketball superstar. Seven feet tall. <laughs> he was a big dude. He and some of the members on his team were considered the first real big three of professional basketball and this was the basketball that he used when he uh, led to Paul to the championship when he was in college also his Chicago gears sack over there oh wow they also have his since he wore glasses his original Sabo specs <laughs> that's what I call him his sports eyewear. That Ohio State jersey is Jerry Lucas jersey. He was the first three-time first-team All-American. Helped the Buckeyes win the 1960 NCAA championship. And they've got one of Chris Paul's jerseys on display. Jalen Brown. And of course the great Patrick Ewing. Look! Kareem. The man known for the sky hook. Kareem's game used jersey. Over here we have, known for the Euro step, Dwayne Wade. He was just inducted this past weekend, and his speech was great because he actually said, Without my father riding me every day to go out and be better, I'd have never got here. So he said, Dad, come up here on stage. He brought his dad up on stage and said, I'm not in the Hall of Fame. We're in the Hall of Fame. We did it. Here is a Magic Johnson jersey, and it's signed out to Shaq. It says, to Shaq, keep working hard, your number one fan, Magic Johnson, number 32. That is so cool. The great Allen Iverson, a man known for the crossover, the killer crossover. I love it. A jersey belonged to Devin Booker when he hit 70 points, just the eighth player in history to reach that mark. That is really cool. And then it says that that shoe, standing well over seven feet tall, Taco Fall in his size 22 sneakers took the college world by storm. Starting in 2015 as a senior in 2019, Fall guided UCF to the school's first ever NCAA tournament win, a 73-50 victory over Virginia Commonwealth. That's really cool. And then here's Charles Barkley's sneakers. Says Charles wore these during the 1992 and 93 season. Sir Charles was named the regular season MVP that year. 11 time NBA All Star and 5 time All NBA First Team. He also signed that basketball. And these shoes that are signed, those belong to Donovan Mitchell. So that jersey is Russell Westbrook's. He wore it on the final night of the 2016 17 season because. And they have it in here just because he was the second player in history to average a triple-double for an entire season. And that's kind of cool. All-Star Game MVP, Bob Lanier. And then this trophy was actually Allen Iverson's trophy. February 2002, recognition of your contribution to street basketball at Rucker Park. That Phillips jersey is actually Will Chamberlain's. The night he scored 100 points, that's the jersey. That is so freaking cool, man. Looks like it's got blood on the inside of it. See that? That's amazing. 
And then this jersey was worn by John Havlicek when the Buckeyes won the 1960 series. And then these monstrous shoes are Shaquille O'Neal's. Both of them are signed. It says four-time NBA champion, three-time NBA finals MVP. Shaq was one of the most dominant forces in the history of the NBA. Finished his career with 28,000 points, 13,000 rebounds. Now we're going to the super fan gallery. <laughs> there are fans and there are super fans. And then there's James Goldstein. Yeah, I saw James Goldstein in a lot of Clippers games. That is James Goldstein, this crazy guy with the crazy hair. So he's got some hot chick on his arm, like that, basically. But he's at front row at like every Clippers game. Maybe even Lakers, I don't know. But I had Clippers season tickets and he was always there. Always oh, dressed wild. And if you ever saw the Big Lebowski, his house was what they used for Jackie Treehorn's house. There he is with Chris Paul. Yeah, and there's some of James Goldstein's <laughs> clothes. There's his jacket, one of his jackets. Never saw him wear that one. He always has leather pants, leather shoes. Everything's always made out of leather. Always has the leather hat. So they have the hat down here in the case. And then a shirt with the hat on it. <laughs> Speaking of super fans, this is Penny Marshall stuff right here. It says Penny Marshall's game day uniform. Often included sneakers by Kobe Bryant and warm-ups by Los Angeles Clippers and Lakers. Yeah, she was at both games all the time. And she used to buy the players' shoes and stuff. There's Kobe's shoes. I know she had a massive collection. But yeah, like it, if she had a fun time at a game or something, she would buy it. So that's, they even got her a ring. And it says that pencil box was Penny. She saved this from something she received when she was just eight years old. Note the scene of a women's basketball game on the flip top lid. Never met her at a game, but I did meet Billy Crystal. He was always at the Clipper games. He was really nice. Then over here, you have a bunch of signed stuff. It's all to Penny Marshall. Dennis Rodman's autograph that jersey out to Penny Marshall. That one says, that's from uh, Kurt Ram. It says to Penny, the NBA's greatest fan, happy birthday. Yeah, all to her. Willis Reed to Penny. And that's super fan not Vativa. That's his turban, his jersey, and even had his own shoes. 700th career win for Dean Smith. Legend Larry Brown. Thousandth victory coaching. Frank McGuire, that's a good one. Some back-to-back -back shoes. Nice. Howard Can's phone. That's Pat Summits. Tennessee coach. Coach Jack Ramsey, nice. Roy Williams. Now we're entering the Kobe section. He was great, but I just wasn't a fan. He just always beat the teams that I liked and always seemed to do it very arrogantly in my opinion, but uh, sad way for him to go. Some of his shoes, talking about how he was drafted by the Hornets. The first guard to go to high, same thing they told us before. There looks like five of his rings. Wow, that's really cool of his wife to loan them. All five, wow. That jersey's even signed. Then over here, they have some more of his jerseys and shoes. His Laker jersey, he was originally eight. Then after the whole accusation and everything, he switched over to 24. It's one of his all-star jerseys, I think. Maybe not, maybe that was just an alternate jersey. A lot of this stuff isn't labeled. It's just showing like the different shoes that his company put out and some of the different basketball cards he was on. So we're gonna go ahead and leave the Kobe section now. Over here they have a section you can recreate being on the uh, inside TNT, inside the NBA. Game worn sneakers by Magic Johnson. See, they were all wearing cons back then. These were Larry Bird's. Larry Bird was a con guy. Magic Johnson was a con guy. Patrick Ewing back there. 
And then there's Patrick Ewing, his uh, game worn jersey, along with Kim Olajuwon. Look, Isaiah Thomas, 9,000 career assists. Michael Jordan's 1988 MVP ball. That is so cool. That was the college jersey of James Worthy from 1982. Most outstanding player. And that was Bobby Hurley, Duke jersey. This is amazing what they have here. Dick Vitale's whiteboard. He'd use this to determine the keys of the game for the matchup between Tobacco Road rivals Duke and North Carolina. You see some Dirk Nowitzki stuff. It's probably because they all just got inducted. Look, there's Dirk's jersey. 50,000 minutes played. Yeah, he stuck with Dallas his whole career. Other than when he played in Germany. Look at all this stuff. They have all of his jerseys. There's some of his shoes and stuff down here. His championship hat they would have brought out for him to wear when they won. These are the Montreal Olympic Games, women's Olympic team stuff. That's in here because they got inducted last weekend as well, right next to Dwayne Wade. You can see Dwayne Wade's shoes. Paul Gasol stuff back there. That's Paul Gasol's shoes. And he thanked Kobe, said he would have never got in if it weren't for Kobe. And that is an NC State jersey because, like I said, Coach Valvano got in and they have a piece of the floor right there, too. Ah, oh, that's so awesome, man. They got a photo of him and everything. Photo of when they won. And then down here, the victory. So we got a ton of stuff over here too. This is great. All game worn Moses Malone. Carl Malone. George Gervin. That would be Steph Curry's. Even though I don't have it marked. There's James Worthy. Kevin Garnett when he was on the Timberwolves in the 75th anniversary of basketball. And you got one of Willis Reed's old Knicks jerseys and one of LeBron's Cleveland jerseys. Oh, cool. Havlicek. John Havlicek. Now they have a killer basketball shoe display. Starting over here with, of course, the Air Jordan 1s. And then you have Paul Pierce, The Truth. It even says The Truth on there. The next black ones are Robert Parrish. And these white ones were LeBron's. And these were Kobe. And then the next pair over were Ray Allen when he was a Celt. No, when he was a Supersonic, it looks like, because they're yellow and green. And then Magic Johnson. Dominique Wilkins with the pump. <laughs> the Reebok pumps. I have some of those. I love them. Then we have Dr. J's Converse. Bob Cousy's Chuck Taylor right there. And then this white one in the middle was Jerry West basketball shoe. That one is John Havlicek's, that old worn out Adidas. The white Nike was Moses Malone. Then you have Dwayne Wade in the middle right here, the black ones. Patrick Ewing, which those aren't the Patrick Ewings I remember. And then Shaquille O'Neal, the monster Shaquille O'Neal. Those big Shaquille O'Neal's on the end. And here they have a championship trophy that you can take a fun pick with and you can actually move it up and down. So let's do that. There's Jason Kidd's jersey. It said he pulled off one of the biggest upsets in NBA history facing the Miami Heat in the 2011 Finals. Led that year with 153 assists, winning the first championship, wow. And over here, Shaquille O'Neal's jersey. Says this was his third time taking the Lakers to the championship. 36 points and 12 rebounds per game. And then there's a big champagne bottle. This was uh, from the Celtics, 2008 win. And then that's Larry Bird's sneaker from winning the championship in 86. Wow, championship bowls. That is so cool. 
the game ball from the 1973 NBA Finals signed by Walt Frazier when the beats when the Knicks beat the Lakers. And that Kentucky jersey is Anthony Davis's. And that's the 2012 National Championship trophy right there. The Admiral, David Robinson, his 1999 Finals jersey. And then down here, Pat Riley's Miami Heat Championship ring with a handful of confetti. And then these are different championship rings from college teams. Now the Hall of Honor. Coach Kella Perry's trophy right here. Coach Dave Hickson's rings. Awards for Del Harris. That's the Red Auerbach trophy. Here we have Michael Jordan's jersey. That's awesome. Pistol Pete Maravich's jersey. Class of 87 at LSU. Wow. Whew, that is so cool. Charles Barkley's ring. That's amazing too. That's a 1992 gold medal. Dream team. First time that the pro NBA players could play in the Olympics. I remember that. That was such a big deal. Dirk Nowitzki's jersey. There's the NBA Hall of Fame jacket. It's a very nice facility. A lot of the interactive video and stuff you can learn about players maybe you didn't ever get to watch. See stats, highlights. These are all the people that have been inducted and what year. This class was like, like I said, Tony Parker, Dirk Nowitzki, Greg Popovich, Jim Valvano, Dwayne Wade, Dave Hickson, Paul Gasol, Becky Hammond, Gary Blair, Gene Bass, and the women's Olympic team. So this is a tribute to the players that just got in last weekend. Paul Gasol, That's Becky Hammond. Dirk Nowitzki. Jimmy B. Another Dirk Nowitzki. Dwayne Wade. Tony Parker. And Greg Popovich. It's a really fun experience. Completely different than the Baseball Hall of Fame. Not in a bad or good way. I love them both, but it's just completely different experience for a completely different crowd. Thank you, Dr. Naismith. Now we're going downstairs. I noticed they have a slam dunk section down here with different size height rims that you can try out your dunking ability. I absolutely love this experience. I loved all the stuff they had on display. I went and got myself a ball so I can shoot and I love over here on this wall they have a wooden backboard, a glass, and metal. Oh and I missed that. Even the peach basket. <laughs> hey let's try that one. We got it! A lot freaking harder with no backboard. <laughs> Well, my friends, I think it's about that time for us to call it a day. We're going to go ahead and leave the Basketball Hall of Fame and go see Ja. Well, if Ja's happy, we're all happy. Let's call it a day. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night and goodbye. goodbye.